Hello once again then folks and welcome to yet another build of course in my series of special projects vehicles to make up kind of a community source car pack within the game. If you haven't checked out the builds I've already done there are some pretty cool ones in there and some more still to come. For now I've built a replica of the Roof CTR3 Club Sport which as you'd expect is a faster more hardcore version of the already tremendously fast CTR3. Now, as far as this particular build goes, there are some things which I've fitted which you won't necessarily need. Again, remnants of other builds that I've done in the past, but we'll run through what I've done. We do have the Sport Silencer fitted, but as far as the actual exhaust that I'm using, we're working with the Semi Race rather than the Sports one. So we'll come back to that in a second. You want your Stage 1 weight reduction, and that's the only one you need there. You could leave it on sports medium tyres. I've opted to give it a little bit of a leg up and go to sports softs, which I wouldn't usually do, but again, it's a roof, so kind of needs all the help it can get. <laughs> as far as the club sports section, we have the power restrictor. Again, you don't actually need it, but I like to have it in case you do. The ballast is fitted, and of course we will need to play around with that. The fully customised computer. As you can see, I've purchased the low RPM turbo, but you don't need to. Again, that's a remnant of a different tune, so you do not need that for this build. We have the fully customised diff, the semi-race clutch and flywheel, because again, it is a road car. You want it to feel hardcore, but not like a full-on racing machine. As far as the racing section, we've gone for balanced tuning and polished ports. I have, again, the intercooler purchase, but you do not need that for this tune. That's from a different one again. Likewise with these two, you don't need those either. As far as the pads, I have opted to go for racing ones there. The race suspension, because of course it just gives you more to work with. I've left the transmission standard. Again, there's not too much of a difference that you need to make there. And even in real life, it's more of a hardcore car rather than a car that's designed to be, you know, way faster for top speed. So you don't need to change that anyway. And then as far as this, we haven't touched any of the extreme section anyway. Now, of course, to go next to the visuals, for this particular build, you will need to purchase a wide body at least if you want to go for the version that I've got here from the community. I think you really will want to fit that though, because it really suits the carbon arches that the Club Sport has. Then to jump into the visual tuning section, I will, as always, flash up on screen the username and search tags of the player who created it. Again, a couple of different people have done this, but from the ones I looked through, this was definitely one of the best looking ones, at least that I could find. It looks accurate to the car. It's got the nice additional little uh, canyards, I believe it is, or however you pronounce it, I can never remember, on the front bumper. The only thing I recall changing about this one compared to what they've done, is I jumped into the other section and changed the number plate. Because they opted to fit this one, which is the smaller, more almost square one. I wanted to go for this wider shape, because I think it suits the back end more. But that's all I've actually changed about what they've done. So that's the visual setup. Of course, give them some love from me. As with all of these tunes, the players don't actually know that I'm giving them a shout out. So give them some love. Then to jump into my side of the deal, as it were, back in the garage, of course, going into the car tuning section. If we jump into the settings, we've got our sports softs fitted. Of course, the fully customized suspension. Then as far as the ride height, we've got 52 mil on the front, 72 on the back. So super low, not quite bottomed out, but super, super low. Four for anti-roll, 33 for the compression on the dampers, 44 for the expansion. Nothing too crazy there. 2.85 on the natural frequency. Again, not too crazy. Half a degree of camber for the front, one degree on the back. So similar to the Viper ACR build there. Then we've towed in 0.10 on the rear and towed out 0.5 on the front. As far as the diff, of course, especially with a mid-engine rear-wheel drive supercar or hypercar, the diff is going to make a huge difference. So feel free to play around, or if you already know one that you like on the roof, by all means go for it. I've gone for 15, then 40, then 20. Of course, NOS isn't fitted, neither is the transmission. The power restrictor is not touched. As I said, it's just one of those things I like to have if you're, you know, in an online lobby where you need to change it for whatever reason. Ballast is not changed in terms of position, but I have added 117 kilos to bring us up to the weight of the real car, which is quoted at 1,377. Then as far as the ECU, of course, we have the fully customized. Take it down just 1% to 99. Now here, this is where some discretion comes in, because I could see at least two different horsepower amounts quoted online. 
I saw one place say it was triple seven horsepower and another place say it was 767 horsepower. The closest I could get with this particular build to run it accurately was 763. If you want to just go on 100% and have it running 772, there's nothing wrong with that. That'll be kind of a sweet spot if you want to go for it. So I'll leave that down to you. Then as far as the downforce, we've got 200 front and rear. So as you can see, proportionally quite a bit higher on the front. And then as far as these, as you could see, I mentioned buying things that you don't need, like the turbo, the intercooler. All I've actually gone for to fit is, as I said, the semi-racing silencer, which much more accurately looks like the exhausts on the actual club sport, the racing pads, the semi-racing clutch, and as you can see down here, the balance tuning, the polished ports, and of course, the stage one weight. And it sits at just over 700 points. So if you did want to detune this car to be a 700 point machine, you could relatively easily. You'd have to sacrifice a bit of power, but you could do it. Or just, you know, change the tyres to maybe hards or whatever, and it will probably naturally sit at 700 or just below anyway. So with all of that in mind, now let's of course head out to the track, on this occasion Spa, to see what it can do. Now as far as this build goes, just like the last one for the Viper ACR replica, it's a fine line to build a car to feel quicker and more hardcore than the outgoing model, but trying to still make it feel realistic to a club sport, but not a tuned club sport. So if the club sport were in the game, most of us would never drive it stock anyway, you'd tune it. So I don't want it to feel like that. And again, you don't want to make the car feel too easy to drive. The sports tyres, or the sports softs more accurately, definitely help. But I wanted it to still have that kind of, that traditional roof kind of lariness that is there. Like the car can always bite back, and that's a very roof thing. Especially if you look back to, you know, their roots with stuff like the Yellowbird. Overall, if you do decide to use the build, of course I hope you have a ton of fun with it. You could certainly use it for some more street level events as I said, at the 700 point level, for example. And if you do want to make it even quicker, just swap it out to racing tires, I guess, and it will immediately make a big difference. If you do decide to use the tune, then of course check out the others as well, if you enjoyed it, that is. And of course, stick around for more on the channel as well. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.